Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Let's begin our lesson by watching and listening to what Tom, an American filmmaker, has to say about how the internet has changed his life. Are you ready? Let's watch. Hi, Anita Evans here in New York City. Today we're speaking with Tom Small, video director and editor, hiker, biker, and enthusiastic New Yorker. Hi, Tom. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much for having me. How do you think the internet has changed the way people view the world and interact? Um, I know for me, it's made me uh, very impatient and I want to know what I want to know right now. And I want to go click on the link that will take me there. I don't want to wait for tonight to see what happens with our you know, heroes on a, some TV show. I don't want to uh, wait until tomorrow morning to find out. I want to know now. So everything's much faster. Yep. So how did it go? If you found the interview a challenge to understand, don't worry. This is normal. Let's continue. says the internet has made him impatient to receive information. The adjective impatient means that you don't like to wait. You want something to happen right away. For example, she's got a lot of exciting ideas and is impatient to begin her project. By the way, do you know what the opposite of impatient is? Just be patient and I'll tell you patient let's look at how Tom uses the negative form of the verb to want he says I don't want to wait to want something is to desire something to make the negative form you use the words do and not as in I do not want something. In conversation, you might create the contraction from do not to don't. Here's an example. I don't want to go to the movies tonight. Don't want is often followed by an infinitive, such as I don't want to wait. Or it can be followed by a noun, such as I don't want lunch. At the end of the interview, Tom responds with the affirmative, yep. Yep is a charming and casual way of saying yes. It's also a bit nicer than the affirmative, yeah. If your boss asks you if you've finished the report, you would say yes. But if your friend asks you if you'd like to go to a club, you might say, yep. We hope you have enjoyed today's mini lesson from Video Language Network. For more free lessons like this one, plus our super expanded version, join us at our website at www videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can also download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. Well, that's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network.